Hello. We're looking at this orthographic drawing introduction sheet and I'm going to have a go now at this task two. So task two says complete the orthographic projections for the two more complex shapes below. The first one has been started for you, the second one is more challenging as you have to add your own guidelines and label the views. So here's the 3D object and we can see the plan view would be looking from above, the front elevation we're taking of this view and the side elevation there. So we can start by adding this detail here. We're using a sharp pencil on a ruler and we're just drawing fine construction lines to start with. We then need to add this detail here, which again we can project down, all the time using construction lines that should be light. I'm then going to add this detail to the front elevation, which I'm going to project across, so this is the top part of the front elevation, and I'm going to project that across to the side elevation. Then. I'm going to project this line down here and this line down here. If we add our top there, the top of this curve, and project this line across here. I'm going to add the top of that and project this line across. This now gives us a detail for here which I can start to line in here and this detail here. Here I'm just now, I have the outline of my shape and I'm just lining in with a pencil to add the outline of the shape. As you can see most of the dimensions for the shape here were projected down from the top. I haven't got this height here which I've kind of guessed and I'm adding this detail here. Here and here I've got a shape, but here I need to freehand in the bottom part of here, and also I need to freehand in the curve, which comes up here, and the circular hole that we, you would see here. So we've got our side elevation complete. I need to project across some dotted lines here, which would be for hidden detail, and also dotted lines here. So we've now got our front elevation completed, our side elevation, and to just complete this now, the plan view, I'll line this in, and then this cutout detail would be here is a line, there is hidden detail, and the same here. So we've got a line here and hidden detail here. Now, there, we're not sure if these two holes should meet up, but I think I will just assume that they're the same diameter, so I'll change that down to there. You could, I suppose, draw this with a compass, but I am freehand drawing. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. So, there we have it.
we've got our plan view with the cut out there and the hole in hidden detail. Here from the front elevation which we've taken as this view here I have hidden detail here and hidden detail here for the hole and the cut out and then the side elevation which we've taken from this end is there with the hole right through and the cut out showing. With some objects like this the, the your interpretation of which is the plan, the front elevation, the side elevation can be difficult because they're not obvious. But there's task two for the orthographic drawing introduction with a plan view, a front elevation and a side view.